Hello there everybody, Sam Strains here and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got my big headphones on, which means that today we are doing something that I haven't done for a very long time and that is Train Simulator. And you can probably tell that because it's filling the entire screen. Anyway, I've been saying for ages that I wanted to do more of this and today I am going to. So. I've purchased a couple of new routes and there is one that I'm eager to try and it is this one, the Netherfield Nottingham Network. And there's a particular career option on here. Let me, I think I have to select it, don't I? Um, this one, an 8F locomotive transporting iron ore hoppers to Colic. And this says that we are driving a train of empty iron ore hoppers from Stanton Ironworks near Ilkeston to Colic Yard. Now, this area is where some of my family are actually from, so maybe they'll want to watch this video and see some of their old places. And maybe I'll even recognise it, because I've been here before. So, we're going to give it a try. I don't remember whether I've used the 8F or not before. Maybe not. Maybe so. I'm not sure, but... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to press this start button and we're going to give it a try. It seems like a reasonable sort of length, about 30 to 35 minutes. Usually I am a bit quicker than the estimates. It's not to say I'm particularly fast. It just sometimes they do seem to underestimate. Right. Good morning, driver. Thanks. You are in charge of a train of empty iron ore hoppers from Stanton Ironworks to Collet Yard. Yeah, I remember that. You are currently held at a signal check at Baseford North. When the signal clears, continue through Nottingham, Victoria to Colic to drop off your train. Right, so in that case, I need to figure out, do I want those displays? I'll have this display up, um, and we'll have a look at what we've got here. <coughs> oh dear, this cold weather's already got to me. Well, they weren't lying, we've certainly got a big hopper train and a nice brake van on the back. Seems to be empty at the moment, so I can see the signals ahead are still red, so... We're going to have to wait a little while. Um, maybe, I'll, maybe I will try to use some of the actual controls here inside the cab. So we've obviously got a regulator there. The reverser is going to be that one. Uh, the brakes are probably going to be around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, of course. I always do that. Right under my nose. Missed it entirely. Anyway, what have we got? Oh, I'm going to get a, a, a fine for improper whistling now. Yeah, there we go. There's a 4F. That's one of the other locos uh, that is available with this game. You know what? I'm a little bit concerned that possibly the sound's going to be too loud here. So let me just adjust it. I adjusted it. Right. So presumably now that that loco's gone, we will be able to go. And yes, we can. So, man, I haven't done this for a long time. Should have probably prepared this to start with, but let's wind the reverser forwards. Let's give us a little bit of regulator and let's get those brakes off. Release. Where's the gauge? There it is. And when it's off, I'll set us to running. There we go. Yeah, that should do it. And goodbye. Where are we? I think we're at Nottingham, Victoria, something like that. I don't know. Uh, but let's go. The limit is 50 at the moment. Although it looks like we're going into a twin. Oh no, that's the, the place on the left. I'm guessing we're going straight ahead. So uh, yeah, we're off. And I, I need to sort of remember how to drive a steam locomotive for this, which I haven't done for a long time. It's okay. It's all right. It's just the just the uh, safety valve going off. I think, which is a good sign. It means I haven't squandered all of our steam in the first 10 seconds of the journey. I mean, it's fairly easy not to do that, but. I feel like it's a small achievement. Anyway, let's have a look at our surroundings. It's miserable, seems about right. Like I say, I've been to Nottingham, the rain is completely accurate. Man, this is deafening. Let's turn it down. There we go. So we haven't got that much coal in the fire. I might have to add some at some point. Anyway, looks like we're going leftwards now, potentially. Or am I just going past a red signal? No, no that's good. <laughs> okay. So the limit is 25 here, so I'm going to take it easy. Don't want to go too quick. And it also seems to be downhill, so if we continue accelerating, I'm going to need to apply some brakes. Uh, well, yeah, it shows us the gradient at the bottom, which is 1 and 70, so it's actually rather steep. 
to the point where I think we probably need to start applying the brakes. Yeah, there we go, we're sort of levelling out now. And we're at one in, one in a hundred now, so it's not that harsh. Right, release them, we've got into a tunnel. Do you whistle in the tunnel? I guess you could do. Right, are we released? Yeah, I'll release the brakes again because I don't want to grind to a halt. That's one of my sort of tropes on these train simulator videos. Grinding to a halt without meaning to. It's embarrassing, don't like it. Right, speed up now. How are we looking? Can I go out the window? No, I can just zoom in awkwardly. I think you can go out the window, can't you? Is it this button? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, seems about right for the area. Although this is obviously not modern day. This is going to be during the BR era, so 1948 onwards or something. Cool, look at this. Wow. I can see a church spire in the background. Somebody has gone to some trouble to create this route. That's really outstanding. Right. Are we still clear on our signals? I think we are. Oh. I oh, thought it was going red then, that wouldn't have been much warning, would it? Right, so, presumably then, if we're going to go onto the main line, I should be able to get us going a bit. So, let's start accelerating a little. Yeah, that's working. I mean, I shouldn't have trouble, really, because the coal wagons, or the hoppers, rather, are completely empty, so it should be all right, I would imagine. Yeah, we're looking good, aren't we? Hopefully then, all will be well. Oh, there's something else coming past. I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get another improper whistle penalty. I don't care. It's not real. No, quiet whistle for some reason. Ah, I got my head taken off. Oh, literally. Oh, gosh. That was terrifying. <laughs> yeah, they're close together, aren't they? Blimey. I don't remember them being quite that close in real life. Man. Anyway. Um, we are stopping soon. <laughs> I almost didn't see that. Right, let's get some brakes applied. Oh gosh. No, I've released them again. Apply, and then set to self lapped. Right, a bit more of the old brakes. I'm still going to use the physical controls. I've got a timeliness bonus, but that's not exactly much of a compliment when I'm about to cruise through the station by accident. But maybe I won't. As long as part of the train is under the station platform, we'll be okay. I think I just got a bit distracted by the scenery there. But the brakes are on fully. And I think we ought to grind to a halt before we pass the end of the station. So, although it was close, I think we got away with it. Right, now let's prepare this loco. Let's get some more coal and water in. Uh, let's set the reverser to full forwards. Oh, what did we not have to stop? I'm not. Con I'm not entirely sure whether we had to even stop. Maybe we just had to go via. In which case, that is stupid. And now I'm going to be behind. So let's go very quickly. Release. At least the brakes come off fairly quick. That's a small mercy. Let's give us lots of regulator because we really got to go now. I, I seriously do got to go. That was probably a foolish mistake. I'll have to look at the footage later and see whether I actually did have to stop there or not. I didn't see any loading or unloading thing, so maybe I'd done goofed there. I'm not, not sure. Anyway, let's wind this reverse back a touch. Look at this, we're going now. The speed limit's 50. So, should be able to get going, and the next stop is Nottingham Victoria, and we're going via there, so that means we don't have to stop. Wish I'd have realised that earlier. Stupid. Anyway, yeah, we're doing, we're doing good. Gradient's not too steep. Got a tunnel coming up. Are you whistle in the tunnel, or just coming in? This is great, you see, I can just throw all my questions into these videos, and people actually answer them. It's very educational. Oh, can't see my damn controls now. And it's an incredibly long tunnel. Look at this. <laughs> there must be a cab light, surely. Is 
Is there a cab light? I would have thought this loco was modern enough to have a cab light. Yeah. But I don't know what the control is. So I think we're best just to wait until I get out of the tunnel. I can see the end of it. And then there's another tunnel directly on the other side. So I've got to very quickly make the adjustments I want before I'm plunged back into darkness again. Ready? Right. Reverse her back a bit. That's what I wanted to do. Right. The speed limit is changing annoyingly down to 25 miles per hour shortly. So I'm not going to go too crazy to accelerate now. I must say this is a very, very well steaming locomotive. Uh, we've still got 209 PSI and I'm a bad driver. I'm known for wasting steam. So this is really something. Right. The problem is I've got to slow down basically at the exit of this tunnel that I can't see. <laughs> Where's the regulator? <laughs> there it is. Fumbling around in the dark like a fool. Where's the brake? I think that was it. It's here somewhere. Oh no. I'm like, I might have to cheat. Yeah, I'm going to have to cheat. Can't see the pressure gauge either. <laughs> it's not much of a slowdown we've got to do, really. Got to get down to 25 miles per hour by the end of this tunnel. Yeah, I think I probably just about will. Great. Let's release the brakes. Yeah, there we are, 25. <laughs> How would you do that in real life? I suppose you would just... I suppose real drivers know the routes, don't they? But uh, it's not like driving a car. But, you know, if, if this was your first time, that would be a right terrifying sight, wouldn't it? Straight out of the tunnel, 25 miles per hour, you're doing 50. You poo on the floor and have to clean it up. Timeliness penalty. I stopped accidentally, but still ended up with a timeliness pen uh, penalty, did it say? Penalty? It looked it was in green, which made me think I did good. Maybe I am running late. Well, we can we can afford to go a bit quicker. Because um Oh look. Turntable. Looks like another 8F. Brake van dumped. I am aware that I've got the regulator open. But I just want to take in the scenery. Look at this. Yeah, this is an awesome route. How very industrial it feels as well. Right. Regulator down. Steady. Whoa, that was close. Another tunnel though. I can't see anything. How am I going to open the firebox to get some, some more coal in? Tell you what. We've got another problem here. Speed limit's dropping down to 10 coming out of this tunnel. Right, regulator's off. Find the brake. Goodness sake, honestly, it's it's like the root of nasty speed limit surprises. Constantly. Well, at least I haven't got to worry about jolting the passengers around too much, because they're empty hoppers. But still. Right, release. Don't slow down too much more. Look at this. Ten miles per hour. What possible reason could there be for that? I think I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Keep going. It's not my fault. I'd be cruising if this was up to me. I can imagine living on one of these houses. If you like trains, it would be alright. Look at this. There's a lot of activity on the other tracks as well. I love it. Another loco with another big coal train. Looks like different wagons. We've got some, what looks like some 12 ton steel wagons. Mineral wagons, I guess. That's marvellous. I just love the details. This is a marvellous route. There's the church spire I saw earlier on. <laughs> oh, this is excellent. Nice viaduct slash bridge. I have to tell you, I don't really recognise any of this. But obviously things have changed a lot since then. Since when this was set. We're still going via, so I don't think we're having to stop anytime soon. But this is really excellent. I'm enjoying this thoroughly. Yeah, look at all these factory buildings. Yeah, it's really... I would love to just do a flyover of this route. There's the river. River Trent, possibly. Although, again, I don't really recognise where we are. I probably would do if I saw the real thing. Got big gas storage tank over there. Ok, 
Yeah, I can't quite think where that would be. Anyway, we're, we're up to 25 miles per hour now, so stop sightseeing for just a moment. Let's really give it some. What have we got going past? I can't help it, I can't help it. Got a black five or something. That didn't quite look like a black five though, did it? Oh dear. Don't quit the game. <laughs> Couldn't quite tell, unfortunately. I didn't see a number. Right, London Road, high level platform. I don't know. I don't think there's anything like that here anymore. No, not as far as I know. I think we're going a bit slow, in fact, aren't we? I need to perhaps wind the reverser forwards a little bit. No, that's not a good idea. It's not worked. There you go. That might do it good to get the right balance between regulator and reverser isn't it right we're stuck at 25 anyway so I can't go much quicker wind back a bit more might as well do 25 then I might get some more timeliness points 23 miles an hour yeah that'll do let's wind it back down to about 43 or so oh the yard coming up look at this Tell you what, if you like just looking at trains and stuff, which I guess you probably do, this is a great route. Oh, turn off the regulator completely, because we were almost speeding. Now we're slowing down. Yeah, look at the rows of houses. I do know Nottingham used to look very much like that. I mean, um, if you've seen the film Saturday Night and Sunday Morning, you'll know what I mean. That was all filmed around, around this area. So anyway, we're going out of, uh, I wonder if we can, how do we look at the map? Map. Core, cool, blimey, look at this. Wow. So we started down here. And we've come down here. Nottingham, Victoria. We're on the way here. So we, we're going to see some extreme, oh, look at this. And then we're heading out. All the way up here to Colic. Oh my god. Yeah, this is extremely complex. And this is where we're going to drop off the wagons. Well, I hope that the signals are all set for us. Right, it's 60. Let's try and get going. Here we go. Come on, let's do it. No, it's 50, not 60. Um, but it's, yeah, the next thing on the, the log is to go via which means we're not stopping so hopefully we can really go for it uh, right we're going to need the blower on I think let's fill these up uh, where's the blower button I think it's that there we go because I'm just conscious that we're not doing so well on steam at the moment because we're at 176 now I tempted fate by complimenting the engine's good steaming again I don't think it's the engine's fault at all. I am letting, I've got the injectors open though, so that will be cooling things down. But I don't want us to go too low on water because I'll forget about it and then we'll blow up. That would be a sorry ending. Oh, we can set the brakes to running. That might explain it. Let's just release them again, make sure I didn't mess it up. There we go. I think the brakes might have been weighing away my uh, pressure there because it's building now so there you go should be all right now hopefully what have we got oh it's another one of those engines i couldn't identify oh still couldn't identify it <laughs> we're going at 27 miles per hour that's a bit too quick oh there's another one see what i mean they put on a good show don't they it's probably going to be a black five isn't it don't know right that'll do no more water yeah, we're building pressure now, which is good. Not exactly building speed too, but let's try and get a bit faster if we can. Oh, and of course, there's, there's, a, there's a, sorry, can't get my words out. I'm so absolutely horrified. There's another 30 miles per hour limit coming up. So I might as well just conserve my steam, hadn't I? What a waste. Tell you what, we're never going to get to Netherfield, I can tell you that. Come on, fireman, hurry up. We've had the plumbing thing open for ages and we've still not advanced our coal capacity. 
So on 32%, oh, he's managed to he's managed another percent. Well done. See, he's just standing around. Look at them. He's just looking around him, look. He's just like he's confused. Oh, he's a scary one. He's a scary looking guy. Look at him. Struggling to get eyes on him. Oh, I'm speeding. Oh, cripes. Slow down. Slam the brakes on. You see, look, he's just, he's, he's lost in a world of make-believe and he's, he's forgotten that the speed limit's changing. His fault. Right, there we go. I just cheated. I just used the, the, the hood. That's fine. Look at, concentrate, man. Right, I'll have to come back then. Right, I think we're okay for coal now. And I've, I'm going too slowly now. You see, I've, I've now lost all, probably lost all the points I gained for being on time. So, um, let's get going again. And speed up. And there's no sign of a change to the speed limit, so... It looks as though we're going to be snailing along at 30. But never mind. Alright, time lapse. Aha! We've got to stop in half a mile. That's probably doable. Because I'm only doing 20. <laughs> I also noticed that the frame rate dropped very, very heavily. So I'm assuming there's um, a lot of stuff around. I mean, there isn't that much. But anyway. Uh, well, it turns out that there's quite... I don't know, is there a gradient? Because we're slowing down very heavily. No, I've got the brakes on. Okay. That's probably why. Set those to self lapped again. Right. So it looks as though I panicked because we've still got plenty of time. So let's go at about 15. Make that the target. Pressure. Perfect. I can switch the blower off. Um, 220 PSI. So that's right where we need to be. In fact, I'm surprised the safety valve's not going off. I'm sure it will soon. And, um, yeah, we'll just cruise along until we get to Colic North, where we've just got to stop. We do definitely have to stop, so that's good. Can't see it yet. Must be just around this next bend. It's only 0.1 miles away. Right, let's slow down then, because I'm going to miss it again at this rate. <laughs> Honestly, I've got the attention span of a gnat. Yeah, they must have a short attention span. Yeah, of course, now it's 70 miles per hour. No, it said 70, but it's 50 on here. So, are we seeing values in kilometres here? Kilometres per hour? I don't think there's a platform here, is there? We've just got to stop. Alright, we'll stop then. I don't, I don't quite know why. But it's, it's saying to stop, and we're on the right spot. So, yeah, we've got to stop. We're just stopping in the middle of nowhere. It's a good job I wasn't looking for a platform then, isn't it? Alright, so it looks as though we're going to be here for a little while. Let's sort things out in here. I don't know where the cylinder drain cocks are. That's injectors. Oh, water's low. Now we've got uh, reverse down colic sidings and stop at colic empties siding 15. You may need permission to pass some ground signals. Right. Okay, so I'm reversing. Where am I reversing to? Let's have a look at the map. So, I'm here now. Yeah, I can see me. And we've got to stop here. Oh, I can... There's going to be no way. I mean, I can change points and stuff, but I can't, I can't even comprehend where we've got to go. Well, let's just let's just try. <laughs> let's see where we end up. Right. So I actually do need to set the reverse of the other way, don't I? Let's wind it right back to. Oh, come on. Minus 75. Let's give it some regulator. And let's release the brake. Release. Uh, let's just see where we end up. This makes me nervous because I, I do have the power to fix this if it's going to be a problem. 
and change points, but I I just I can barely tell where I've got to go. Let's see. I'll tell you what we can do. As long as I'm not going to go too fast. Um, I think if we go to... Show me it. Show me where I'm going. Colic siding 15. So it's this one here. So I just need to make sure the points are set for it. That one is. That one is. That one is. That one is. Keep following. I think that point just changed for me. We're going this way. This way is so confusing. Oh, oh, oh it looks good. We're, sorry, I'm panicking here because we haven't got far. Right. And we're going down to 15 miles an hour in a minute. Shame I can't go in the tender. Oh, I can. Tender? No, the brake van. Here we go. I'll be a guard for a second. It's coming down to 15 miles an hour. There we go. Made that quite nicely. This is a good view. I like this. Nice view. There we go. Self lapped. Uh, we've got plenty of water in the tank now. We're in the boiler. <laughs> it is a sort of tank. And we're speeding up, so let's not do that. And yeah, it looks as though everything is set, so I needn't have panicked, but you never know. If I hadn't checked, it would have been wrong, and then we would have ended up in. Belper or something, I don't know. Anyway, 0.3 miles, things are lagging massively. I've dropped to 15 frames a second, so there's obviously a lot going on here. It's what happens when you shoot in 4K, I suppose, isn't it? It's not doing bad. Okay. So, I suppose it is on the cards that I will career into a buffer stop shortly, so... Oh, and I'm speeding up. Slow me down, please. I don't want to be speeding. Yeah, there we go. So I suppose I ought to slow down a little bit. Because we're very close to being there. I'll try and get as, as close as I can to the buffer stop. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's release. Oh, I thought for a second we were on this line and we we're about to smack into these. Right, there's the buffer stop. Apply. That's scary. It just kind of leapt into view. I'm hoping we'll be okay. Let's just apply them a little bit more. Probably don't want to be doing 10 miles an hour at this point. Right, 5 miles per hour is okay. Let's release them. Let's keep going. ETA 928, 59. So we've got about 10 seconds, 20 seconds-ish. Right, I would have said anywhere here seems to be okay. How's the loco looking? Loco's completely in the siding, so... Ah! Stop! Stop! No! Bump. Was that considered a big crash? <laughs> it was quite... It was quite brutal. So there's only, the only way to go is forward, so I'll set the reverser. Are we okay? Are we still on the track? I think so. Now I'll couple the train here. Oh, I got a time minus penalty plus 47. That's good. Can remember how to do this. So, uncouple. What? Task failed? What? Did I push the wrong button? I thought that was loco tender. <laughs> No, task failed. You are done. Well, never mind. I enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. Um, let's see what I, I scored. I scored zero. Okay. Um, you can see I, I got lots of timeliness points here. Then I lost a lot of them due to speeding. Then I got a few more for timeliness. And then I lost 500 as an operator, operator error. Invalid consist. I basically pushed the wrong button. Now, would we really... Just tell the driver, that's it, you failed. No more, no more driving for you. Wouldn't we just say, oh, you've uncoupled the wrong wagon there. You need to just couple it back up and uncouple the tender. You've wasted 10 seconds. In fact, the speeding that you did earlier on is far more serious than this. But no, we're booting you off. Well, damn. 
double them. So, I think I'm going to need some help with this. So, we are going to return next time. I'm going to attempt to complete this scenario more completely. And uh, hopefully my helper will help things to go a little more smoothly. I also need to figure out how to uncouple things so that I don't get booted off the scenario because that would be another embarrassing end like this one. But ultimately, I drove a Steam Loco. Things didn't go too badly for the most part. I, I think I've been judged harshly here. But no, ultimately that was great. I love that route. Um, I want to see more of it. So we'll finish that scenario next time and then possibly do another one. And I will see you then. So if you want to see more Train Simulator, please comment down below and let me know. If you've also got other routes in mind that you'd like to see me try, ones that you think I'd like, I particularly like narrow gauge, so keep that in mind. Then again, please do comment down below and make some recommendations to me. But for now, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon with hopefully a less embarrassing end to a Train Simulator video. Cheers, folks.